All right, boom. So now, uh, let's see what point you were at. You, y'all doing a freestyle at the karaoke. Mm -hmm. So when did it get to the point that you actually started doing music? Like, was like mm -hmm. real music? Was it like when you got to high school? Was you playing sports before that? Because a lot of artists say, yeah. most of the artists that come here, they really wasn't doing music, music yeah, until yeah. after they was playing basketball, mm -hmm. uh, football, and then they end up getting into the rap scene. A lot of them play sports first. Yeah. No, nah, I, I was trying to do sports, man, but it wasn't for me, man. I think you told me that <laughs> it wasn't before, for yeah. Me. It wasn't for me, bro. Sports like, like how, does, how you figure that out, bro? Like, I don't need that. Man. Like, what? Like, my well, give brother, me the defining. My, defin big brother, my big brother call right now because he's laughing because he <laughs> know it's real. Like, give me, the <laughs> give me the defining moment that you say, this shit ain't for me. Man, when I got tackled, man. <laughs> when I got tackled, man, I bro. When I got tackled, I was like, man, it's not for me, bro. And my dad was like, <laughs> he was mad, man. My dad was mad, but I was like, bro, this nigga really ain't for me, bro. Hey, <laughs> bro, I believe every man, you gotta be honest with yourself, bro, because that shit, I think football. That shit, I was, man, that shit, thank you. I feel, <laughs> I feel like basketball was always. Safer than me for some reason. Yeah, I, I don't know, bro. Yeah, feel, a feel, nigga coming full speed and hit you at the blind side, bro, nigga. You don't even know no. what the fuck. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I feel so, you. boom. Yo, this yo your defining moment came. You like sports ain't for me. Mm -hmm. Immediately, do you go to music right then and there? Nah, I was, I was still doing music at the time. Even when you was yeah, cause, music? no shit. Cause let me see, I, I did. See. No, actually, it was afterwards, but I was still trying to get into it, you feel me? I was still trying to figure it out. Okay. But when I was trying to get into music, the first thing, my dad had a friend, well, he had friends down in Poochie, they had a studio, and um, I asked my dad one time, I was like, man, I really want to record a song, you feel me? Like, I really want to do it. Like, Your dad was still messing with music at the yeah, time? Yeah, he still, he okay, was still with school people, was, yeah, yeah. still doing music at the time, uh -huh. but... He thought I was really was bluffing, man, playing and all that. He was like, man, you really ain't ready. I was like, man, I'm ready. My dad was like, look, if you really ready, write a rap, and we will see what we will do. All right. How old was you at this time? 13. I was like 13 or 12 because it was for my birthday. It was for my Damn, birthday. Okay. I remember I was happy, man, because I was like. Damn, I'm going to go to the studio. Yeah, man, because I was like, man, I was I couldn't go to sleep, man, because I, <laughs> I, I was happy, man. I was like, man, I finally got some studio. I can hear some myself, bro. I was like, man, I'm it was more of the thing that damn, I'm finna get to hit myself on playback. Yeah, bet that. Okay, yeah. so boom, the big day come, you go. Like, did you write the song? Did you end up recording? How it worked? How yeah. It oh, it, it was that same the whole day. That whole day. Yeah, I went. Yeah, that whole day. We I had to write the whole song that day and that that night. We went to the studio. Damn. Yeah. So okay, give me the play by play. Mm -hmm. You get to the studio, go. Like this, your first time. You you happy? You ain't went to sleep. Yeah. Like give me the like the whole shit. You walk in, boom. Like give me the whole shit. Shit, I was kind of low key nervous, cause my dad was like, "Man, we got time. You know, we gotta do what we gotta do." You feel me? And I'm like, "Man, bro, I wish I could stay here for like instead of two hours. I want to be here for maybe like the whole night." But he's like, "Nah, man, we got shit to do." Yeah. So I was low key kind of nervous and all that shit. He stumbled in my words and all that. You feel me? When you got in the booth? Yeah, when I got in the booth. No man. shit. Cause I was kind of like nervous. I was like, "Man." But he taught me, you know, you know, just take your time, do what you gotta do. If you need, a, if you need water, if your voice getting um, um drink water, like the important shit fundamentals of recording, yeah, all that shit. Yeah. So bam, you get through it. Yeah. You end up getting through it. Yeah, I'm end up getting through it. Yeah. So y'all make the song, or you make the song. Mm -hmm. Back then, what was popping? Like what was your CDs? Like? CDs. Your CDs. Okay, so boom, you got your copy of your CD. Yeah, yeah. You get to take it home. Yeah, I get to take it home. No yeah. shit. I get to take it home. Like when I first recorded, I don't know. I don't know if everybody do the same. Shit. I listened to that whole like fifty times in a row. Yeah, I you did see? too. I did too. So I did you listen too. to it like. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what was going through your mind when you listening to the song? This the first time you ever recorded in a real studio. I was like, I want to continue doing it. Yeah, like, yeah, I want to continue doing this, man. Like for real, for real. Was it? Was it? Was it? In the back of your mind, was it? What should I say? Was it a part of you in the back of your mind say, I like it, but I should work on this. So I like it, but I didn't. I, I, I didn't say this right. Or yeah, yeah, it was my, a point. I, probably, I, I think really, man. I think cause sometimes I still can't continue going through this shit. Like my delivery. Day? Yeah, my delivery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people say my delivery is kind of like that, but you know, some people say my delivery is good. So I don't know, but you know, 
It's like if if you with people, you feel me? Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you do the song, you get it printed, get yeah. pressed. Yeah. What you try to do after that? Did you try to circulate oh, yeah, it? Yeah, I try to circulate it, man. I was no, trying see, to, man. I went to the, um, well, I went to the Walgreens, man, off twenty two thirty four. Got <laughs> got a pack of CDs, bro. And got, it. <laughs> yeah, that was my sister's laptop, man. I ain't gonna lie, back <laughs> then was burners in then, like the like the towels. Yeah, you had a towel type shit. Nah, it was just a regular. I, um, I think it was a Microsoft burner. Burner, yeah. you could just burn one at a time. One at a time. Yeah, hell yeah, get them hoes out there, my nigga. I remember I used to do that shit back in the gap too. I had a whole little back in the gap. They used to have a when you want to press something on top of CD, you had to. Yeah, Snap that hoe down like the. I know you talking about. I, I had one about. of them me back in the gap. You okay, know what I'm okay. saying? So boom, you do that. What was the next like? Okay, but you was like 13. Yeah, I was 13. So boom, you get to high school. What high school you go to? Uh -huh. We gonna take it all the way around. I went to Elkins. You went to Elkins. Yeah. I remember mean, you telling me that. Yeah. So during Elkins, you had already figured out that sports won for you. Yeah, I already figured out. My little so, brothers was doing that. They was doing that thing with sports at the time. So what was you actually doing until it got to the point where you actually put a project out? What was uh, like? What was like? What was really the man? Out, Cause I'll be honest with you, I was um, I was really at the time making beats too. No shit. So I was shipping beats too with people, and I was rapping in the high school. And no I was, shit. Um, trying to get Wait, like when did you start making beats? Oh man! At what time? At it's what the same point? Same time. About no shit. Twelve thirteen, bro. No shit. So 13. Be, like. It, for you to ship out beats to people, how was you making them? Like, what type of equipment you had? Uh, like, what oh, was you man, using I'm, to do? I cracked up FL Studios 9, bro. Like, like uh, Fruity Loop shit like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I used to have that shit, I too. That. I just never could get beats. I was just like, damn, I want to be a beat maker. That shit just, I could not figure that I shit feel, out, bro. I feel you, I feel you. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But... It didn't take, I'm assuming it didn't take you no long to grasp the actual concept. No, it, it didn't. It didn't. Um, re really, till I got to high school, when I started working, I, I, I was available to pay for the whole thing. You feel me? Mm. So I just paid for the whole thing, study and try to see. Then I had a mentor that used to um, work with rap a lot. That was a producer. I mean, we were talking to me that swift. Yeah, my uncle. And he um, taught me the game a little bit more about, you know, construction it, how to EQ your beats and all that. So I studied from him. Was the internet out at that time? I don't think. Uh, yeah. It, it, it was I the was high school. Yeah, high school. I was about like 16, 15. 16, was, 15, <coughs> 17, something around there. So it was like the beginning stages of the internet. Yeah, yeah. No shit. So he showed you how to actually, what, record? Um, nah, just um, really mix. Mix mm. and try to make your beat sound more wide instead of plain. And basically, like, try to be more instrumental with your shit. Like, you know, like I told you about last time about um, sample packs or whatever. He come up with an error like when you had the SP-1200 mm. and um, the See, keyboard. I, I remember hearing those terms, but you know I'm kind of forward to making beats, so I can't yeah. tell you what's an SP-1200. Well, uh, SP-1200 is basically like a drum machine, basically. Okay. That's what it is. So let me ask you, let me kind of get into that real quick. Mm -hmm. Making beats, like... For somebody who don't know nothing about making beats, mm -hmm. he don't know what a what this button mean nothing. Mm -hmm. What would you tell him to do? What was the first thing you tell him to buy? Uh, yeah, that's kind of. I mean, I'm, let me see. What I tell him? Uh, they don't know I make no beats. If they, if they don't know I make no beats, really, I'll be like this. <clears throat> you gotta find like. Really, I guess, like, it's not like how it is now. I guess, well, you know, because a computer can help you out now. Yeah. That's why I'm trying to say. Just a regular laptop. Yeah, like, a computer can help you out now. Like, it's so it's so crazy, like, how the game so babysitted right now. I'll be honest with you. Like, As opposed to when you first got when in I the game. When I first got into it, yeah. it wasn't having no, like, no drum patterns to help you out. You feel me? Yeah. So, like, what's this, this website called? Oh, Producer I Grunge? You, like you, trying, you know what I'm trying to say? I, you, you basically saying, like, now is different at, yeah. as opposed to when you was coming up. So, it's a multitude of things that they can use to get started. Yeah, that's what I'm trying beats. to say. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah you can look up the um, inf information on YouTube now. Right? Like, yeah, yeah, It's so simple now. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's how I feel about it. Like, they can just figure it out on YouTube. Basically, that's, if you want to answer that, they yeah. can figure it out on YouTube. No shit. Yeah. So, do you think it's still a thriving market in beat making? Not really, because, like, the music game is so saturated. 
So even in making beats? Yeah, even making beats, cause Damn. you can put FL in your shit, you can get, um, what's the other one? Uh, Logic, Reason, uh, I think that's the three, three that I know. Okay, so why would a person want to pursue a venture like into doing producing if you think you, it's not You a, know why? I think it's because of publishing, man. Okay, like explain that. The publishing? Uh, yeah. Like I know what the term means. Like explain what you mean by the concept. The but, concept of publishing? Yeah. Uh, really, man, you get paid like every four months for the publishing, you feel me? Uh-huh. And as long as your paperwork's straight, well, either you go with BMI or ASCAP, you'll mm -hmm. be straight, you feel me? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, man. I got a homeboy who make beats and shit like that, man. Mm -hmm. He ain't never really put out nothing written. I ain't gonna say an album or nothing. Mm -hmm. But I nigga make money off of that shit, man. And he ain't really got no name or nothing. But he still get checks and yeah, shit. Like yeah. residuals or yeah, whatever. Yeah, even, even with, um, you, can, you don't have to make, like, make a song with somebody. You can put your music on life on TVs and films and all that. And you can pay for that every um, four months with that. Get a check every time for that.